I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And we are coming at you from Ecuador. So it's actually our first time in the continent of South America. So we are super excited. We've never been here before. And we just cannot wait to explore. And we are gonna be like in Ecuador for 10 days. So that is a lot of time to explore. And it's a pretty long trip for us. So we're like really happy that we got that much time here. So we're gonna do a little rewind and show you uh, how we got here yesterday and then we'll come back to the present moment. So we are at the Miami airport right now. We basically flew from New York to Miami and now we're going from Miami to Ecuador and we are so excited because we have never been to South America before. It's gonna be a new continent and a new country for us. Yeah, and we managed to somehow pack all of our stuff into like two carry-on luggages, which is what we always do. But for this trip, it was actually a little bit hard because the weather in Ecuador is a little bit all over the place, especially because on our trip, we're gonna be going to a few different areas and the weather in each area is like super different. So we are in Ecuador right now. We made it. We had like a full day of flying, but actually our flights were not at weird times. They're at like really, really good convenient times. So we are like not even tired like at all. <laughs> yeah, like it was so convenient. Like we basically like came to the hotel that we're staying at and went straight to sleep. It was like midnight already. So it was just like perfect timing and we're waking up at like, it's like maybe like seven or eight right now. So we are ready for the day. We're so freaking excited. And also Ecuador like time zone wise is only like one hour behind New York City. So I don't think we're gonna have any jet lag, which would be really nice. So we wanted to tell you all why we are in Ecuador. We are actually here with EF Ultimate Break and they are an amazing company. They do group tours for ages 18 to 35 and this is our first time ever doing anything like this so we are really excited. Yeah we met like the whole group last night pretty much everybody and some other people have to like trickle in but it's really cool we're gonna be traveling with like an awesome group of people like travelers like-minded like us and we just can't wait. Obviously we're in Ecuador we're gonna go to the city today but we're also going to the Galapagos Islands which is something that Shanna and I have always wanted to do like like, can you say bucket list <laughs> items? So I feel like EF Ultimate Break is a great way to go and do those bucket list items, especially if you want to travel like with a friend or you just want to travel alone and do that thing. Yeah, and also what's great about them is like usually I'm the one planning all of her travels, but when you do a tour with EF Ultimate Break, like they plan everything for you. Like all you have to do is show up essentially and everything is kind of like already like set up for you so that's really nice to not have to kind of worry about like where are we going today what are we going to do like we already know what we're going and what we're doing today so we are really excited and we cannot wait to explore i'm just going to quickly show you the view <laughs> from our hotel room because we came here last night it was pitch black so we could not see a single thing but let me just adjust the lighting but look at this mountains galore beautiful we have to go outside yeah we have to <laughs> So our first stop is Quito, and that's where we are actually right now. It is the capital of Ecuador, and it's actually the second highest capital in the world. Like the elevation here is at 9,300 feet, and apparently later this ship we're gonna go somewhere that's like 13,000 feet in elevation. So we came prepared, we have liquid IV, we have water, we're just like staying on top of it. <laughs> yeah, but that is really cool because that's pretty much like the highest elevated point we've ever been to when we've been traveling. So if you didn't know this, Ecuador in Spanish actually means equator because the equator runs right through Ecuador, and we are actually gonna go and stand on the equator line to day and apparently like the weather here is like varies like from the morning to the afternoon to the night so we're in sweatshirts right now it's like 46 degrees Fahrenheit but apparently later today it's gonna be like 70 degrees but on the mountain it could be like below, below freezing, freezing. <laughs> So we're like, oh my God, what do we wear? We just have like a million <laughs> layers in our bag and hopefully we don't freeze, but we cannot wait. It's gonna be such an exciting day. One thing I wanna mention is that the sun is super, super strong here because we're really high up and also on the equator line. So you have to wear sunscreen here at all times, even if it doesn't feel hot or you're gonna be burnt. So we put ours on today, we're good. <laughs> Okay, so our first stop today is we're at this volcano. I'm gonna definitely butcher the names. I'm just gonna put it on, on the, the screen, screen because <laughs> I do not want to mispronounce it, but um, it's a dormant volcano. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. And there's people like basically living in the crater of the volcano and the views here are just epic. It's beautiful. It's like a little right, village right. down there. So that is the crater from the explosion and there's people living there still. See, it looks like it's mostly Crazy, right? So crazy, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are at the equator line. 
mind, which is so insane because we've never been this close to the equator before. So apparently, actually, this like straddles the like northern and southern hemispheres, but there's like a little museum here and you can kind of like walk around and explore, so we're gonna do that now. So, so far this museum is really cool. We've been learning about like all the local animals that are here and apparently Ecuador is like 40% of the country is the Amazon, which is insane. Yeah, and there's of course like tribes and people that live in the Amazon too, which is super cool to learn about. Depend of the movement of the world and it's different depend the hour a day. That's so crazy. We are literally at zero, zero, zero. Insane. What? North hemisphere, southern hemisphere. Yes. That's crazy. <laughs> Apparently at the equator, like water um, doesn't spin either clockwise or counterclockwise. It just goes straight down and we just saw it happen. It was absolutely insane. So crazy. Also, it's like harder to balance, which is like an interesting fact, I guess. And you're literally lighter when you're like standing on the equator line. Okay, so for lunch, we came to this place called Vigano de Altera and it's an all vegan, like, I guess it's like a deli or like lunch spot, um, but everything looks really good. They have like local dishes, like we got like a taquito and a ceviche, vegan, and we got like um, a vegan cappuccino too, so I'm so excited to try it. Also, this meal, like mine was like 580 US dollars and Gabby's was, no, Gabby's was 580 and mine was 475 US dollars. They actually use the US dollar here in Ecuador, that's like their currency, so this meal is, looks really good, it's really affordable, and it's like a massive portion. <laughs> Quito, which um, our tour guide Ivan said is like actually like really well preserved and is known as like the most well preserved like um, historic district in Latin America. <laughs> yeah, I mean it is so cute here. The buildings are amazing and there's so many people like out and about right now. But now we're gonna go get some food, I think. Yeah, also um, this area like it's a Sunday today, so this area is like filled with like locals and tourists just like walking around exploring. There's like lots of like street vendors out. Um, so we're just gonna walk around and explore. <laughs> Okay, it's super loud on this street, but we uh, need to tell you guys what is going on because this is like, I don't know if this is like a market or people selling stuff all day every day, but because it's a Sunday, there are people selling the most random items like batteries, rubber gloves, goldfish, razors. Basically, you name it, but this street is so busy and it's so fun. Like there's so many people here right now. It's like so cool to kind of like be immersed in like the Ecuadorian culture, like on this street. Cause like you can tell that like me and Gabby are some of the only tourists like walking the street right now. It's so cool. Yeah. Okay, so we just learned from our tour guide that that building right there is the presidential palace. Um, it's mostly used as like an office now, like the president doesn't actually live there. So also, our tour guide told us that that is obviously, this one is the flag of Ecuador, but that is actually the flag of Quito. How cool. Okay, so it's the next day now, and we took about like a two hour bus ride from Quito to Cotopaxi National Park, which is where we are right now. We like just got here, so we haven't really gotten to like explore anything yet, but it looks beautiful. Yeah, we can't wait. We're gonna do a little bit of trekking. Um, you definitely need more layers here because it's a little bit more windy and a little bit more cold. So as you can see, we're slightly more bundled up, but slightly we'll see more. <laughs> um, if we freeze today or not. This is the sign. Cotopaxi, let's go. You can see the map. Apparently there's, there's a volcano or multiple volcanoes here. Yeah, I freaking we'll can't wait. I hope we see some. Okay, so this is the Cotopaxi volcano. Um, we actually learned that it's still an active volcano and that the last time it erupted was in 2015. Oh, that one's so crazy. Okay, 
so we're doing a little hike now around this lagoon. Yeah, I think it's actually called like trekking at the moment. <laughs> trekking, yeah, it's like pretty flat, so. Oh, we're yeah. stopping, hold on, hold on. So Gabby's gonna try tea de coco. It's made from coco leaves here. It's used as like a remedy for like altitude sickness. It tastes delicious. I wanna try it. I love it, it just tastes like a really nice tea. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so we left the national park and we drove like, well, we didn't drive the bus. <laughs> drove us two hours to this town called Banos and it is beautiful here. Like we're staying at this place called Monte Selva, which one of the girls on our group who speaks Spanish told us that it literally means like mountain jungle. Yeah, and it really feels like you're in a jungle while you're here. It's like, it's so beautiful and there's so much nature around us. And even when we were in like the bus coming here, we saw so many incredible views, tons of waterfalls. So mountains, mountains, like everything. You name it. So we really can't wait to go and explore a little bit now the town area and also tomorrow. Okay, good morning everyone. It is day two in Banos. Um, we just woke up and we are actually walking to a coffee shop because yesterday, hold on, the street's really narrow. We need to like go around. Um, we actually saw this like really cute coffee shop and we were like, this looks like they're gonna have things that Gabby and I like. Yeah, and you know we love a coffee shop and mm -hmm. we haven't been to one since we've been here yet. Yeah, because we have have had like breakfast like included with like all of our hotels, thanks EF. Um, but we sometimes we just want to try like a little something local, you know? Yeah, a little so local shops, a part of local business. Exactly. So since we had a little more time this morning, because we're starting our tour like at 9.30, which is a little later than the other days, we were like, oh, we are going to that coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. And then I think after this, um, we're doing like a, t a tour of some of like of the waterfalls in this area. Okay, so the first thing we did today was we got on the bus and we drove all the way up the mountains about like 30 minutes and now we're at this place where they have like all these like photo ops and like swings where you could swing off the mountains. Yeah, it's called like the swing to heaven, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And it's literally because when you go on the swing, it looks like you're like going to the heavens, like you're off basically a mountain, but um, it's pretty incredible. And there's also a lot more swings here than I thought that there was. Yes, so I thought there was only one. Also, I want to mention a fact about Banos that I didn't mention yesterday, but it's actually known as the gateway to the Amazon because like you're right on the border of it. So you're like this close, which is really interesting. And I love hearing that it's like a cloud forest too, because you do see a lot of like fog and clouds rolling in and it's so pretty. Okay, so we just did the swings over here and they were absolutely insane. Like it was so cool, so fast, and like the views are incredible. I was screaming my butt off, but it was really, really fun and I'm glad I did it. Like it looks so amazing when you're like on the swing, when you like look down at your feet and it's just like mountains. And oh my God, I still feel like I'm talking so fast because of the adrenaline. It was an adrenaline rush. Okay, so our next stop is a bunch of the waterfalls in Banos. I think we're going to four today. Um, and the last one's supposed to be the biggest one, but here in Banos, there's something called the Road of Waterfalls, where you can just, I guess, like, go on the same road and see a bunch of waterfalls. We're gonna do that today, but this is the first one. You can kind of um, see it. Literally, it is beautiful, but I mean, it's just amazing seeing waterfalls. It's just always incredible every single time. And there's people zip lining across. <laughs> Look at that. Crazy. Some people were doing it on their stomachs, and it was uh, extremely wild. It was insane. I don't know if I'm that adventurous. Yeah, but you can see this is kind of like a viewpoint for this one, but we'll show you what the other ones are like. Alright guys, why don't you say what we're doing? Um, we are on a cable car right now going over the waterfall and it was really cheap honestly, but it's going so much faster than I thought. Wow.
so we made it to the Galapagos Islands and our first island is Santa Cruz and right behind us is one of the animals that you typically see here it's a giant tortoise um amazing right freaking <laughs> incredible as you know like we have been the most excited to come to the Galapagos like obviously we're excited for all of Ecuador but the Galapagos especially is somewhere that has always been on our bucket list so it is like unbelievable that we are even here right now we're still like shocked about it <laughs> and that there's a giant tortoise eating grass behind us <laughs> so cute of course there are a lot of rules here you really have to like um, give the animals their space. You can't go near them. You can't touch them anything like that So we have to keep our distance. So it's pretty far behind us We're not like right next to it and we won't be but we cannot wait to show you everything that we see while we're here So we are at El Chato Ranch and we're gonna do a little walk to see if we can see more of the giant tortoises um, They're amazing. Uh, they're also what the Galapagos is named after. It does mean giant tortoise crazy right um we have to put boots on because it is i gotta muddy. show y'all <laughs> look at these crazy boots okay so we found out some fun facts about the tortoises from our tour guide one is that they move two kilometers per hour which is very which slow. is very slow that's but like less expensive. than a mile per hour they also live a really long time some of them can live for like over 200 years which is crazy yeah and they also can float which even though you would think but from their size that they can't they can Good morning, everybody. So it is our next day in the Galapagos and we're still on Santa Cruz Island. But we're actually going to a different island later today called San Cristobal, I believe. Um, but I think our itinerary for today is we're gonna go like see some other things around this island before we leave. So we're doing some adventurous things today. I think that we're going to see the water, maybe do a little bit of swimming, like snorkeling kind of activities. So it should be really, really exciting. Um, like we're just excited to see like more animals, honestly, because even last night we saw so many. I'm not sure that we brought our camera, but we saw I think I like- I filmed some stuff on my phone, but we saw like a sea lion taking a nap on a bench. We saw a sea turtle, we saw sea lions swimming, and we also saw like baby sharks, right? Yeah, and this is literally on the pier at night. So the fact that we were able to see that many animals just like on the pier in this area at night is like crazy. Also, the town here is so freaking cute. We went and had dinner there last night with our whole EF group and it was so much fun. It's so nice to just like walk around that area and that's where that pier is. So if you're here, definitely go and check it out. Test and it was amazing. We snorkeled, we saw some fish, we were just swimming with everyone. It was so much fun. Um, and now we're walking kind of back to um, the area where you get the water taxi back to the main land. And apparently the only way to get to Las Gritas is by water taxi. And we even saw a sign that said that um, if you're going to the Galapagos and you want to visit tour sites, you actually have to be um, with a local guide of the island. So you can't just like go by yourself, which I think is actually really cool because I think it's a good way to kind of keep the island preserved um, and make sure that, you know, everyone's following all the rules that they want people to follow. So we were just walking around Puerto Ayora and we found this like, street art piece that kind of shows a little map of all the Galapagos Islands. So we are right here currently in Santa Cruz where that X is, that's actually exactly where we are. But next, in a few hours, we're going to this island, San Cristobal. So we're only going to two of the islands, but these are all of them. How cool. So we are in San Cristobal Island today. It's a little bit like 
cloudy. Um, it's actually been kind of cloudy almost the entire time we've been in Ecuador. That's because we're coming in like, not really the touristy season, we're coming in like the cold for them, which is like still like 70 degrees. So like cold slash wet season, right? Yeah, as you can see though, we're just in like t-shirts and tank tops a lot because it's not like that cold, but there definitely has been some foggy days and some sunny days mixed in. It's not like sun every single day. So we are now walking to the shoreline because when we got off the boat yesterday to come to this island, we saw a bunch of sea lions on the beach and apparently there's these birds here that are called blue-footed boobies and everyone wants to see them. They're like super common in this area. We haven't seen one yet, so. Yeah, they literally have them. like blue feet. So like literally. Really recognizable, but yeah. <laughs> the sea lions in this area are everywhere. You just see them like hanging out, laying in different areas. So we're gonna go and try and see some on the beach right now. All right, so we found the blue-footed boobies. If you can see. They have little blue feet. <laughs> so cute. Feet are really cute. Like the sea turtles here, the people treat them so well, so they will get super close to you. Like there were ones swimming under us, right next to us. Like they just were so big and so close. It was honestly one of the coolest experiences ever. So this was definitely one of our favorite things we've ever done, and obviously one of our, our favorite things on this trip. So um, if you come to San Cristobal, you have to go to La Loboria Beach and look at the sea turtles. There's also sea lions everywhere here too, like yeah, on the beach, swimming in the water. Like literally if we walk like two feet over right now, you'll see sea lions right in front of you. So our last activity today is to come to Playa Mon, which is just like a beach where there happens to be a lot of sea lions and we've they're just literally laying out on the beach, like chilling. Yeah, like they're everywhere. They're swimming in the water, they're coming to shore, they're like relaxing on the beach. It is so nice. And you can also swim here and the water seems pretty nice. Okay, so it is our last day in the Galapagos today. Uh, which is so sad because we freaking love it here and we woke up this morning and it's beautiful out. So. It's like really sunny, which like the last few days it's been kind of cloudy. So missing out on the sun, but it's okay because we literally saw like every animal you could possibly see, I feel yeah. like while you're here. Like ever, it has been incredible. Like we really li we, we really don't even want to leave the Galapagos. The Galapagos is amazing and we just had such a good time here. <laughs> One thing that I'm not sure if we mentioned before, but um, the Galapagos Islands is actually pretty famous. Um, um, you might have learned about it in school because Charles Darwin, while he was here, it inspired the theory of evolution that he came up with um, because he saw like the different kinds of beaks on the same species of bird and just kind of inspired his theory of evolution, which is what we are all taught in schools today. So really, really cool and really interesting. I definitely re yeah. remember learning about it in school. <laughs> Pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of history here and there's so much you can learn about evolution and animals and just nature. Yeah, I think like, like what I really love about the Galapagos is that it's just so well preserved and conserved that like the animals are just free to roam like as they naturally would as long as the humans like don't disrupt like the the natural form of like what's going on like the animals here just do what they would normally do like there's sea lions literally sleeping everywhere on the beach on the sidewalk yeah you like, can actually see behind us i'm sure yeah like that there's a bunch of sea lions sleeping on the beach behind us just living their best lives and i think like what it like reminds us of is that like 
there is a way to do like ecotourism the right way where like you can go see animals in the way that you should be seeing them in their natural habitat and it can actually be done because here they've done such a good job with it like yeah, our suitcase, especially without disturbing them whatsoever yeah like our suitcases get checked to make sure that we're not bringing any items that are not allowed on the island every single time we go whether we're, it's, it's a boat or a plane there's um like there's conservation like police like all around and you cannot go to the Galapagos certain sites without a local guide so I think that's like really really cool and I think if more places thought of tourism this way I think it would be better for everyone yeah. overall Wait. so we're gonna spend our last few hours just walking around a little bit see if we could see any more of the animals that we loved seeing um but yeah we have absolutely loved it here it's been like a dream trip <laughs> okay so this is just like a souvenir shop but it has like essentially the theory of evolution that Darwin founded in the Galapagos on this shirt, which is really cool. It was with the birds that are here called the finches and on the different islands. They all had different beaks and stuff. So cool. So sadly, this is going to be the end of our Ecuador video. Um, we are so sad to leave. We've had the best time in Ecuador. If you've never been before, this is a country that like you have to come and see. Yeah, I think it's super underrated. We didn't really know that, that much about the country before coming here, but now that we've been here, we just think it's like so beautiful. There's so much to see and so much to do, and it should be higher on everyone's bucket list, in yeah. our opinion. <laughs> I mean, like we've been here for 11 days now, and we're not even bored at all. We would absolutely come back, and there's so much more that you could even come and explore. We're obviously on this trip with EF Ultimate Break, and we have had the absolute absolute best time with them like we did not think that we would love a group trip this much because Gabby and I tend to just travel just by ourselves the two of us but with this trip we met so many other people who love to travel who are in our age group who are just as excited as we are to explore Ecuador and it was just so fun getting to meet them and travel with them and also travel with a local guide like we typically don't do that we just like do all the research ourselves and then like go out and see it but traveling with a local guide you just learn so much more and you just get to be immersed a little bit more in the culture because they're actually from here. Yeah, it has been really, really so fun. I mean, another thing that has been amazing about traveling with EF, other than meeting all the amazing people, which I think is my personal favorite part, is that, you know, normally when Shannon and I plan our trips, we plan out every little detail. We deal with transportation ourselves, lodging ourselves. But when you um, book a tour with EF Ultimate Break, it's like they take care of all that stuff for you so that every single thing is taken care of. Like your transportation is taken care of. There was a lot of points on this trip where like the transportation had we had to figure it out ourselves seemed a little bit complicated, but like, with EF it was so simple we just got on a bus or went to the airport or got on a plane or got to our hotel and I mean it has been literally so amazing they give you so many tips like when you have free time of what you should go do and really you just make friends with everybody so you want to go and hang out with them and do things with them it's been so much fun after this trip we would highly highly book again with EF um, but if you guys want to and you've never been on an EF trip before we actually have a discount code that we're gonna link here and also in the description for a hundred dollars off your first ever trip with EF and um I don't know we just had the absolute best time and i already like don't want this trip to end <laughs> yeah i mean definitely go do it we will definitely be traveling with ef again we've had the best freaking time i don't know how many more times we can say that but like we have loved it so make sure if you've never done it before that you go and use our hundred dollars off it's good for the next six months i'm pretty sure from when you're going to see this video so thank you all so much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you soon with another video bye, bye.